Hey guys, Taki Sugi here, and today I got a new character for you on Korean Lost Saga. It's called Yumi Ra. It's uh, based on a girl, but I'm a guy right now, so whatever. It's from God of High School, a manhwa. You know, I'm not familiar with any of that, so I'm just going to go into what the character does. So, three hit basic, uh, third hit half faints, and you can probably do some stuff off that. Uh, hold D. Uh, this works as a little kind of stun. And you can do this twice in order to launch someone, which I failed to do there. Let me swap real quick. And bam, like so. So that'll create a juggle opportunity. Your dash attack, there's your first part that works as a half faint. Second part is a launcher, like so. So you can go straight into your launcher if you just hold D right away. So that's a shortcut to doing your launcher. But otherwise, you can do that quick little dasher and uh, get an easy launcher like, so, like that. So uh, jump attacks, like so, uh, it's a little half faint, uh, but you cannot control this in the air like you could with a gladiator, so it's not controllable in the air. And you have a whole D jump attack too, so like that, and it works as a half faint, and it also works as a ground hit. Kind of think like a exor exorcist kind of hold D, uh, jump hold D in a way, just without the little stun if they're standing. So yeah, that's uh, his basic attacks. Let's go check out our defensive capabilities uh, on our robot friends. Preferably a dwarf because they're easy to bully. Ah, we'll go with an ogre. Why not? We're feeling a little bit brave today. So that is our jump, uh, our counter. We can do a little jump attack off that and knock him right down. It's a half faint counter. We also have uh, a defensive capability with our helmet and that works as a half faint counter as well. So. And we'll get into our second form now. So our second form has a whole new set of moves. And so we're going to basically redo everything here. As you can see down there, we have a 35 bar passive. It charged up no matter what I was doing. So it does charge up if you're attacking or getting attacked or running around, unlike some other passives. And it does uh, go completely away if you swap characters. So try not to swap in order to attain this form on this character. So let's swap into it. There we go, we transformed into our form, and we threw our wooden sword at Def K and stunned him for a good little bit, and we grew antennas on our head. We also move faster now, and let's check out our moveset. So three hit basic, uh, third hit works as a complete uh, stun, kind of faint, and it also lifts off ground. So it's a really nice, really fast uh, basic attack. Uh, dash attack. There's the first part, it's a little half faint. There's the second part, it's a flip kick launcher. You can go straight into the flip kick launcher by holding D. Kind of mirrors the default form. And our jump attack. There's one hit, it half faints. There's two hits, it completely faints. This is controllable in the air, un unlike the default jump attacks. And you can just hit four in a row, and this also hits grounded. So uh, that didn't do too good of a job hitting grounded there, like so. So it's a really nice jump attack, as you can see there. Preferably, you'd want to just do two. And also to point out about this form, you can see our skills are just uh, completely uncharged, or completely charged and not blinking. That's because we can't use our skills. Also, we cannot swap in this form. So you can't swap, and you can't use your skills. So that's, that's the prerequisites to this form, or the limitations. So let's check out our defensive capabilities real quick before we get into... Actually, you know what? Let's check out our... Uh, you know, no, nah, let's check out our defensive capabilities. So real quick, there's our counter. A lightning fast counter that completely uh, stuns and knocks someone down. And you can juggle off that and do some stuff. Let's also get knocked down here. Uh, as you can see, we're also getting hit and the robot uh, knocks down our passive. So real quick... Don't knock me out of it. We also have a, a special forces beret, beret kind of. Am I saying that right? Beret, beret, beret kind of recovery role on the super form when we're knocked down. And we only have six meter left, so we're only going to be able to do one uh, special passive using meter kind of move. So let's do our whole D. You know, you know what? Let's use our half D. That uses less meter. So half D. It's a little uh, three hit combo that does a faint. So it's a really nice half D move, and uh, you know I guess you guys are stuck with me until my uh, full uh, passive meter charges. But we're going to use this time to use our skills. So weapon skill, as you can see there, it uh, cuts through people. You can control the directions you go, and it stuns them briefly and causes them a little panic status and stuns them at the end of it. 
So it's a pretty nice weapon skill. It'll stun a lot of people and uh, get a, be a good juggle starter. Armor. This is one of the coolest armors ever. Look at this. Bam. Snap someone's neck. Teleport behind someone and snap their neck. Let's just uh, zoom in on this. Ooh, brutal. That's so brutal. So it's a nice armor. It, ha it teleports uh, at a good range, as you'll see here. Teleport teleports behind someone and uh, can be a good initiator to your juggles. And your uh, helmet. Helmet is a really uh, far knockback and really quick and can be a really good edging opportunity kind of move. You can also trigger in the air. And again, as earlier, it does work as a half faint counter. So it's a really nice uh, helmet. And trinket. Finally, this trinket uh, is a little range stun. Uh, so it's uh, pretty awesome. That'll be a good little uh, juggle starter uh, move for you. So yeah, pretty straightforward skills. Let's get back into our super form. All right. So super form. Uh, let's check out the move we uh, didn't cover a minute ago. Let's knock uh, the poor old Dev K down. Here's our whole D. Hold D is like a little fissure kind of uh, line move. It uses 15 of your passive meter, so it will drain uh, a lot of your passive meter really, really fast. While the hold D only uses 10, so let's use the hold D here. You can see it uses 10, and then you can use your uh, hold D to hit him off the ground and do continue your juggles. So yeah, guys, this is a really awesome character. Uh, it encourages you to stay on the character in order to attain that really nice super mode. It does have limitations with the super mode, but you know it, it's clear to see at why that is because of the lightning fast moves and uh, all the opportunities to faint and even the really fast counter that's uh, pretty OP in my opinion. So we're gonna we're gonna just blather on until our pass is back and then try and do a combo to cap off the video. Uh, all right, here we go. So. We have numerous ways to do a combo on this character, and uh, you know I'm gonna kind of be testing stuff out here to in order to see what's best. But you know we're gonna try and do what see what works. So let's uh, let's start with the trinket. Why not? And launch him up to uh, you know that's not a good idea. So let's launch him up do the trinket, which didn't seem to do too much in the air. Launch him up, do the weapon skill, which we just failed. Okay, guys, this isn't going too well. Armor skill doesn't even catch airborne. Ah, you know what? We're just going to have to keep this really simple. So really simple. Let's just go ahead and do all our skills. Okay, that didn't work too good either. I'm going to try one more time, guys. I I'm just I'm just really disappointed in myself. I'm sure you guys are as well. So bam, bam. <laughs> oh, I, wa I want to cry right now. All right, let's try something on the super move. Two, one, two. So yeah, that didn't go too well either. So yeah, one, two, three, uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Now we're doing something worthwhile. Okay. So yeah, there's there's a uh, plenty of opportunities to come up with something clever with uh, combos, but I, I'm just not executing them too well, as you can clearly see. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it's been Yumira from uh, whatever it is. It's from. <laughs> we'll see you guys later.